What's up, YouTube? Pokeprimer here, primed and ready to deliver you the very beginning of our randomized Nuzlocke journey through the generations. This is something that I've wanted to do for a while, um, and by through the generations, I mean through every set of games. I want to at least have a victory within a uh, randomized Nuzlocke of every single Pokemon game eventually on my channel. Now, so far, my luck has been... What's the word? Um, atrocious is, is, is the term for it. Atrociously bad. Uh, I have, on my channel, successfully completed one randomized Nuzlocke. One. One. <laughs> um, now, some might call that pathetic. I would agree. But the only completed randomized Nuzlocke on our channel is uh, our Soul Silver randomized Nuzlocke, which we completed very, very early on. It was like the second. It was one of like the. There was the fourth or fifth main like series sort of kind of playthrough we did on the channel and then like the only randomized Nuzlocke we've actually successfully uh, completed so that's a thing <laughs> yeah um, the other one we tried was Emerald uh, that was our actually first uh, main series game that we tried to randomize Nuzlocke and we got beat by a Curse Reggie Rock in Victory Road <sighs> yeah we made it that far <clears throat> Since then, uh, we've had a lot of technical issues that have caused a lot of playthroughs to end prematurely, and then basically the channel went to becoming um, solely draft league based because all of our playthroughs, one thing went wrong after another, and things just kind of fell apart uh, playthrough wise. But I'm trying to get back into it. Uh, I've been really wanting to do this for a while now, so uh, I'm really excited to uh, hop in once again and. Uh, get back to doing playthroughs like I used to do, because playthroughs are always fun for me, and uh, now it's time for me to dive back in, you know? So, yeah. We're starting off with Pokemon Blue version, and so my plan with this is to kind of go through all the generations, uh, hit the game from each set in each generation, and then loop back around once we get to the end. If I fail one, that goes back into the rotation. So say, like, I fail this one. I'm still going to go on to do the next one being gold. And then the next one being ruby and keep going and keep going. And then I'll when I loop back around to gen 1, I'll be doing red next. And I won't do blue again until we loop back around to gen 1 the third time. If that makes sense. So... <clears throat> That's kind of the plan with, with this. Um, I will have put up an update video before this goes up, so you, you know what the channel is going to look like over the course of the next several months. Uh, lots of Draft League on the week. Basically, the weekends are going to be all our Draft League stuff. And then uh, this is going to go up Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays is going to be reserved for other games that I've played non-Pokemon related, things that I have already recorded in the past and whatnot, and just kind of need to get uploaded eventually. Um, they're just sitting in my videos folder. Uh, stuff like that. That's just going to get thrown up and uh, messed with. So, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to get going with this. So, uh, without stalling anymore, uh, I'm going to uh, get this party started. Uh, I actually mapped a controller for this for once, so that's new. And do fast speed, battle animations on, set, battle style set, do all that. Give me one second, because I feel like I hear some things I shouldn't. Sorry about that. I have two cats, and I heard something crinkling that sounded like a bag, so I thought they were getting into trash, and it turns out they were not getting into trash, he was just playing with one of 
those little foily toys, foily ball toys, so. Alright, we're hopping in, let's go. Hello there, welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak, people call me the Pokemon Professor. I am not going to be doing accents, uh, I remember they messed my voice up, so I'm just not going to do it. You know, we, are, we already see it's randomized, we see it Arbok here, that's pretty sick. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for fights. Myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. First, what is your name? Now, as the standard for on the channel here, <clears throat> we always go and call uh, call our trainers by the name people kind of refer to us most as in like Discord servers and stuff, and they just call us Primer. They call me Primer, so. So your name is Primer. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were a baby. Alright, what is his name again? Ooh, this is actually, uh... This is interesting. I've, I've debated on, like, who, what I want to call my rivals and stuff in a lot of these. And I think it, it's gonna be a mix of, like, my actual friends versus, like, a, and people that I play with a lot in Draft League. I think that's gonna be kind of how I go along with this. And to start it off, the first one, I, uh, there's no other name I can give them, but, uh, but Zar. Uh, one of my best friends from college, uh, one of my best friends, just IRL, I'll give him, I'll give him a proper written name. Yeah, one of my best buddies from college. Uh, he goes by, uh, the Czar, Poke Czar, whatever. He's, he's gone by a lot of names related to, uh, Czar, since his first, since his last name starts to ZZ, CZAR. So, okay, it's kind of worked for him pretty much forever. So, uh, that's gonna be our first rival for this journey that we're beginning here, uh, today, so. Yeah. I remember, his name is Czar. Uh, I, I keep falling into the accent because it's Professor Oak. Like, I, I, <coughs> I can't, I can't help it, but I'm gonna try to avoid doing that. Very young Pokemon legend is about to unfold. Yada 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 yada. All right, yada, yada. things that we're gonna hear a thousand times over the course of the, the next several months. Oh man, I have not played a Gen One game in so long. Draw item, grab the potion, because let's be real, we all know that that's that's. That's step one in all Pokemon games. Alright. Hi, Mom. Bye, Mom. Pretend that you don't exist. Hey, wait. Don't go out. It's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Yeah, come with me. <laughs> Very quickly press the speed up button. I'm, not, I'm gonna try to not use it, especially in Gen 1 and 2 games, because um, they're not good for it. It's really bad to have for Gen 1 and 2 games, um, so I'm gonna try to avoid uh, doing that as best as possible. Uh, cramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Zara, let me think. Oh, that's right, I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Primer. There are three Pokemon here. Haha. <laughs> they are inside the Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. In my old age, I have only three left. But you can have one. Choose. Hey, Gramps! What about me? Be patient, Zara. You can have one, too. Alright, let's see what our potential starters are gonna be. Wheezing? Alright. Okay. So Weezing's an interesting one. Eevee? Ooh. Interesting? <clears throat> I'm not the biggest fan, but it's interesting. Because we could also, like, items are randomized, so we could find a stone pretty early, so that'd be kind of cool. Venonat. Okay. Hmm. Venonat, Weezing, or Eevee? Huh. 
Huh. This is actually a tough one. All three are like really kind of unique-ish choices. <coughs> I think though, for like, just pure uniqueness purposes, I think I'm gonna go with Venonat. It's something like you never really see people use. And like Venomoth would be really cool. So I'm gonna take Venonat. And I'm gonna nickname the Venonat. Um. Listen, as cheap as it is, I'm gonna call it Mothra. Uh, Godzilla vs. Kong is coming out soon. I. So I, I, I kind of expect Mothra to make an appearance in that too. And it's kind of like a reference to that. So uh, we're going to have Mothra the Venonat. <coughs> and he is going to take the Weezing. Okay. Will it actually still be a Weezing? We'll find out in a second. Because now we get our rival battle. Yay! Wait, Primer, let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Zara wants to fight. So now Weezing. Alright, so he's gonna keep the Weezing. Cool. Yeah, level 6. Okay, so I did put a level multiplier on this. <coughs> Excuse me. I did put a level multi uh, multiplier on this. I did like a 15% like a level booster for this series. So, for all, I'm gonna be doing it for all of them whenever I can. So, it's gonna be interesting. He has Sludge right off the bat. That's. So nuts. Wait. Poison's super effective on. Oh. Well, I mean, we're losing our first battle. <laughs> That's just kind of. I forgot that that was even a thing, that poison was super effective on Bug at the start of this. I. I did not remember that. <coughs> wow. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, it really has been a long time since I played Gen 1. Alright, so we know our Venonet just has Tackle and Disable. There's nothing special to really look at there. I forgot she doesn't do anything for us now, so we just head out immediately. It's been, it's been way too long, man, since I played one of these. Last time I played anything related to Gen 1, it was when we played through Fire Red Omega on the channel, like, right at the beginning. It was, like, the second playthrough I had going on. I'll take that extra potion. Thank you. I'm gonna try to avoid... Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna try to avoid wild Pokemon. Oh. Um... That's frustrating. I really hope that we don't get that as our first encounter. Or that if we do, like, we get really lucky. Because, uh, <clears throat> we have no way of touching a ghost type. Machamp? Oh, that would be sick as a first encounter. Oh, that would be sick. I would try to battle this right now, but I don't feel particularly confident. I'm gonna try one tackle. That does nothing. He's got low kick, and it does... Okay, that does zero toss. Oh, karate toss normal type in this one. Uh, oh, you got a Okay. So that does nothing. Okay, so we actually... We're, we're doing good pretty... We're doing pretty good here. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We can, we get, we're gonna get some bonkers experience off of this. We didn't even level up. Get a little bit of like grinding in. Because. God forbid Venonat. <laughs> uh, you know, Venonat needs some levelage. Like, badly. So. Let's let's get let's get rocking. We back. See a little. Uh, I only get to at least level seven right now. Huh. <laughs> we're broke. 
There's Mewtwo's on the first route. That's the situation we're in right now. Jesus Christ. That's just terrifying. I don't like that. That doesn't make me feel okay. I don't feel safe. Okay, Mewtwo's on the first route. That's gonna be fun. Alright, level 7 makes me feel a little bit better. Alright, let's go and... Go to the Mart. Get the right package. Yada 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 yada. They'll take him this parcel. I need to stop speeding up in battles. I, that occasionally while grinding is fine, but that that that's a little bit excessive. And I almost just lost. Well, no, I wouldn't have lost in those because we don't have Pokemon balls yet. But even still. Uh, all right, so we go drop this off to Oak. Oh, Primer, how is my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to like you a lot. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What? You have something for me? There's your parcel. You old fuck. Ah, this is the custom Pokeball I ordered. Thank you! Gramps! What'd you call me for? Alright, I have a request of you two. On the desk, there is my invention. Pokedex. <clears throat> it automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Primer and Zar, take these with you. to make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream, but I'm too old. I can't do it. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. All right, Gramps, leave it all to me. Primer, I hate to say it, but I don't need you. I know, I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one. Primer, haha. <laughs> what a bitch. What a bitch. I'm gonna walk in and take one from your sister anyway. Grandpa asked you to run an errand? Here, this will help you. Got a town map? Yeah, fuck you. Right, but we don't have Pokeballs yet. I know that much, yeah. Because in Gen 1, they were really fucking stingy. And you had to go and buy your own first set of Pokeballs. They didn't even give them to you. So the Nuzlocke still hasn't even technically started yet. So... That's cool. Alright, get a little bit extra EXP. While we're here... Get to level 8, because why not? We're already there. Heal up real quick at the Pokemon Center. Off we go, off we go. Cool. Alrighty. <clears throat> it's so nostalgic seeing it in all like the, the black and white and all that. It's so crazy. It's been so long since I've played one of these games. I really, really has. And it makes me really happy to play them again. Alright, let me buy... Ten balls to start. We buy two antidotes. We buy a paralyzed heal. And that's probably gonna be about it. I might actually grab a few more antidotes and one extra lucky Pokeball. I love how the guy talked about like potions and stuff, selling them at the, at the Pokemon, but this Mart doesn't even sell potions. That's insane. Alright. Now it's time to start getting some encounters so we can actually, like, properly progress, because Venonat isn't going to do it all for us. So our first encounter on Route 1. Right, Route 1? Yeah. 
our first encounter on Route 1 is gonna be... Ladies and gentlemen, it is the... It is a Pidgeotto. Okay, haven't seen a single one of these so far, so that's interesting. Uh, tackle should not kill you. I'm a Venonat, and you're a Pidgeotto. I'm just gonna just throw a ball. That's that extra lucky ball, right? Yeah? Yeah? Yeah! Pidgeotto was caught. Nice! Pidgeotto, the bird Pokemon. Very protective of its sprawling territorial area, this Pokemon will fiercely peck at any intruder. My cats are playing like hardcore right now. They've just sprung in and out of this room like a dozen times, I swear. Y'all need to chill. I love them though. Good, good cats, good cats. Do you want to give a nickname to Pidgeotto? Of course, this is a Nuzlocke. We do that. Nickname for Pidgeotto. Um. Mm. Honestly, I don't even have a good name for it. I'll be really honest with you. I'm just gonna call it Burb. All right, we got Burb. Let's take a look at Burb. Hello, Burb. Normal flying, nice sevens across the board. Seven HP too. That's really funny. Gust and Sand attack. This is back when Gust was a normal type move still too. Right, let's let's go heal Burb up. Let's get Burb healed up at the Pokemon Center. Yes, ma'am. And let's go ahead and snag ourselves another encounter. After we go up here. Because I know there's an item up here. <gasps> no way! We just got a fucking Master Ball? In Viridian City? At the start of the game? That, that's bonkers, dude. That's nuts. Okay, so like now we can, now we're chilling. Now we're chilling because any encounter we get, we're good. Route 22, okay. Route 22, give us something good. Poliwag, okay. That's pretty fire. I'm down with that. Nice tackle. Fire off another one. Nice. Bubble. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And let's catch us a polyway. Let's do it. Hey, let's go. Polyway was caught. The tadpole Pokemon. Its newly grown legs prevent it from running. It appears to prefer swimming than trying to stand. Do you want to give it a name to Poliwag? Hmm. Hmm. I don't have a good nickname for Polly, the Polly line. I, I'm gonna hate myself for this, but we got we got Poggers. I hate myself immediately. I hate myself immediately for that name, but it, it's just it just felt right. I don't agree with it. I hate myself for it, but it's okay. Then we'll do the catching tutorial, and then we'll do a little bit of grinding, I think, off the screen. To, uh... Get the team up to snuff. So we can 
do the next rival battle on 22. Because you know, now that we at least have other people, we don't have to worry as much. I just want to see the catch tutorial because I did randomize it. Show me how to catch a Pokemon, old dude. Ah, oh, it's a Machoke. Okay. On to Route 2. Our Route 2 encounter. Let's do it. Probably get our Route 2 and our Viridian Force encounter before I end this episode off. That seems like a pretty solid end point. Ooh, Haunter. Okay. Um, obviously, like, the only downside to this is I can't really touch it with anything. I mean, I can go into Poggers and hit it. Uh, I'm gonna try, but if Pogger starts taking too much damage, I'm gonna have to switch them out. Infuse Ray, that's fine. Nightshade, okay, that's not bad. If Nightshade is only attacking move, I'm not stressing. We did... Okay, Lick. That shouldn't do a lot. I'm getting Parafused in Gen 1. This is disgusting. Oh my god. That did so little damage. Okay. Let's just keep trying to... Come on. Come on. Alright, alright, that's ridiculous. <laughs> we have been confused so many times. Right, let's get back out to Mothra. We got it down to about half, so let's get a Pokeball off here. And hope. Nope. I mean, obviously, I'm not using the Master Ball on this. Like, that's just... I need to make that abundantly clear. That's not going to happen. Let's go! Caught the Haunter. Let's go. Who's the village just slipped through? <coughs> Block walls. It is said to be from an, another dimension. I mean, the haunter. Absolutely. Mr. Spoop, welcome to the team. Awesome. That is good stuff. Good stuff. And now we can officially not have to worry about not being able to deal with encounters because that's the only good type set in the game, so. Viridian Forest encounter. Snag that real quick. And we get in pretty much almost ready to the 30 minute mark, which is nice. Ooh, a Cuba. Ooh, ooh. That's an interesting encounter. Let's get it. I'm super hyped about that. It already has Bone Club. That's all. Awesome. Let's snag. Let's snag a boy. Let's snag the little man. Boom. Cubone was caught. Uh, Cubone... Cubone's a sad boy. Cubone, Cubone is sad boy. Little sad boy. 
All right. <laughs> we got a team of five already. That is super sick. What a way to start off the series. And uh, in the next episode, we are going to start things off with our rival battle over on Route 22. Uh, so that's super cool, too. Yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this, please make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you have not already. Uh, this is going to be a really, really fun undertaking. I'm really looking forward to playing through all these games again. It's been way, way too long. So uh, thank you all for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, I'm Poke Primer. Signing off. Peace.